In Canada, more than 20 people are diagnosed with diabetes every hour of every day. And it's estimated that an additional 700,000 people have the disease without knowing. Now approved by Health Canada, Victoza is the first human GLP-1 analog and offers a unique approach to diabetes management for people living with type 2 diabetes. Victoza works by mimicking the body's natural response to food by stimulating the release of insulin only when blood glucose levels are high. Dr. Stuart Ross, an endocrinologist with Foothills Medical Centre and clinical professor of medicine with the University of Calgary, specialises in the treatment of diabetes. Unfortunately, many people with type 2 diabetes do not get good glucose control. And this is unfortunate because there is an increased risk for these people of developing what we call vascular complications of diabetes, such as blindness, kidney disease, nerve disease, and this is a serious complication of type 2 diabetes. We are fortunate now we have newer treatments such as Victoza, which are going to allow us to achieve these goals much easier and perhaps in addition have extra advantages such as weight loss. GLP-1 is a natural hormone that is released in the body after food is ingested to help produce insulin. However, people with type 2 diabetes often have a GLP-1 impairment, an underlying cause of disease progression. Victoza, the first human GLP-1 analog available in Canada, is 97% similar to the natural human hormone GLP-1. It has been shown to significantly lower blood glucose levels, resulting in weight loss with a reduction in the risk of hypoglycemia in people with type 2 diabetes. Diabetes presents a major challenge to our healthcare system, particularly in type 2 diabetes where we're trying to achieve many goals, lowering blood sugar, getting them into an exercise program, getting their weight down. These are challenges indeed for the patient and for the healthcare programs. We're fortunate that the newer interventions in managing diabetes are helping us get glucose levels down, helping us with weight loss programs, and in the process we achieve far better results for the Canadian with type 2 diabetes. Ram Krishna has been living with type 2 diabetes for 25 years. I was diagnosed with diabetes 25 years ago. The initial reaction was one of shock. Most people don't realize the day-to-day -day physical and financial challenges involved in managing diabetes. There's the whole issue of the different types of medication that I need to take and testing blood glucose levels so many times a day and then managing a rigid control on diet as well as lifestyle. Having said that, I believe that the key to managing diabetes is being more educated and self-management. And I think there is also a need for more treatment options to become available to help people manage their diabetes better. Patients who are concerned about the management of their disease should speak to their healthcare professional about their treatment options to determine if their disease can be better managed.